So and open that, you go into the universe. Oh, no, Elisa. you're going to have your dinner first. Elise isn't going to open it for I'm you. I'm sorry. Do you want to give it to me? Yeah. Yeah, this is for after dinner, okay? After dinner. You going to be a good boy? Look, you snapped me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. It, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's school holidays. Hey. Um, obviously that first clip was of Jake. Me and Elise went to my dad's house to pick up the car battery charger. And um, they weren't home when we first got there. Well, my dad was, but he was asleep. My dad works really weird hours. Um, but then his wife, Kai, got home. And yeah, a couple minutes after. Then Elise had some dinner. I didn't want anything. Elise had some vegetarian stuff and hung out with Jake and Kai for a little bit and then my dad got up and talked to us for a while. And we spent about an hour and a bit there. They actually live very close to us. But we don't go and see them enough, which we should do, considering they're family <laughs> and that I live so close. So yeah, definitely gonna make a mental note to do that. Um, I found a new game today. Well, I don't know how new it is. I'm not entirely sure. It's called um, Big Birds... No, huh? Like a fat, no I don't know what it's called, it's like fat birds build bridges. Wait, I'm going to open it up because this is going to kill me if I don't know what it's called. Funniest thing is I've been playing it all day to try and pass the levels for walkthroughs. And I still don't know what it's called. It's called fat birds, hold on. <laughs> Alright, as you can see with my cracked screen. There we go. Focus in, focus in. Fat birds build a bridge. It's kind of fun, um, sort of like one of those games where you have to get three stars. It's 99 cents in the app store, by the way, if you're Australian. Uh, if you're American, I don't know how much that is. Probably 99 cents too. <laughs> I don't know. But you, it's kind of like a mix between Amazing Alex um, and Bad Piggies. It's not by Rovio, surprisingly, which is um, really weird because they make all sorts of games like this. Yeah, I didn't get around to making any tech videos today. I woke up at something like maybe about 2 and it's only 2 o'clock in the morning now and I'm about ready to go to bed because I'm tired. So I'm going to, you know, force myself. I could stay up for another few hours. Like I was just watching, re-watching The Walking Dead. But I'm not going to do that because I know that it's bad for me and I've got to try and get into a normal habit. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, so hopefully the car's battery is charged by tomorrow because Elise has to go to, to, to TAFE um, and our white car doesn't really have any petrol and it's having a problem where it overheats and we can't really afford to get that fixed right now. So I'm hoping that the battery's charged and I can put it in before she has to leave tomorrow so that she can get there fine and doesn't get broke, it doesn't break down. <laughs> it, like It's about 25 minutes away where she has to go, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen. I wouldn't enjoy that. I'd have to go pick her up, stuff like that. <sighs> but yeah, um, I'm feeling really good. Kind of bummed I didn't make a tech video, but been really enjoying it. But I have been searching lots of tweaks and lots of, lots of Cydia sources and putting some really cool stuff on my phone. So I'm going to probably get back into that a little bit tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can wake up relatively early, get a lot of work done, be very productive. Um, my mum's feeling a little bit better today. I think she went back to the dentist. Do they? Is it even the dentist? I don't know. Yeah, I think it, I kind of assumed that there would be like a whole separate service for getting dentures, but probably not. I don't know. Anyway, and <clears throat> she hasn't been able to get her bottom denture in, as I mentioned yesterday. And they tell you from the beginning that you should wear them all the time. And apparently... Instead of that, they used to get people to just not wear them for the first few weeks until they heal, but that did something weird to their jaw. So, yeah, they have to wear them. As soon as you get all your teeth ripped out, you have to wear them, which is ridiculous. I, I can't even believe it. Um, but yeah, she can't get her bottom one in because her bottom gum is too swollen still. But she will be able to, I think, in a few days, and she's seemed a lot happier today. So that's good. She, her face is still a bit swollen, but that's what you got to expect when you have so many teeth extracted. Funniest thing is, um, 
my oldest brother did something a little bit annoying tonight. Um, he wanted to talk to my mum and I told him I couldn't, yeah, sorry, he couldn't because she can't really speak properly and, you know, things like that. And he got a bit annoyed. So I sent him a message saying, like, mum's in pain, just relax, talk to her another time. And he said something like, oh, when I tore, when I tore my ligament in my ankle, it was so much worse than the pain of getting t teeth extracted. And it's like, are you even serious? Trust me right now, I've, I've sprained my ankles really badly before. Once I was on a train, I sprained my ankle and it wasn't broken. It was completely black. I, I couldn't move it. Say, say this is my ankle. I couldn't even move it like that because it was just so swollen. It, it wouldn't allow me to have any kind of movement. But I walked around on it and I just wore a bandage for support. And yet yeah, hurt, I'm pretty sure, but it wasn't that bad. When you consider getting every single one of your teeth pulled out. Oh my God, I can't even imagine it. So what happens, you get all your teeth pulled out. Your gums are all bloody and the wounds are all exposed. I'm sorry if you, you are squeamish. And anyway, like, you don't have to use your legs every day. <laughs> if you have a sore foot, walk around on crutches, but you have to use your mouth every day. You have to eat, you have to drink, you have to talk, you have to breathe, you have to, swallow your saliva you have to do everything like that with your mouth and if you've had all of your teeth extracted it just makes everything a hundred times harder at least for the first little while so I don't even know what the hell it was on about as if an, an ankle a sore ankle a sprained ankle is nearly as bad as getting all your teeth out yeah and then not to mention you have this foreign um, set of teeth in your mouth that make you salivate more and that you're not used to and all this crazy stuff I can't even oh. I'm really going to try my best to take care of my teeth so I never have to get them. Yeah, I just thought that was a little bit silly to say that a sprained ankle was as bad as getting all your teeth removed. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I think that's mostly all I have to say for today. Sorry for the two, to <coughs> two taker once again. I only actually had like three hours of sunlight today um, now that it's getting dark early, but that's all right because if I correct my pattern, I'll be up. But I'm in a smiling mood. I'm smiling. I don't know why. Oh, seven minute clip. I didn't even expect it to be this long. I've just been ranting about my brother and talking about car batteries. Anyway, I know I said at the beginning of this year I want to make these vlogs more interesting. And I honestly really do. Um, it's difficult when you're in a bad place. Um, I'm not in the worst place at the moment. But when even when you're in a place where you're not completely happy, it's it's hard, you know to put yourself on camera every day, to go out all the time and do fun things like that, which would be cool to film. So I'm hoping, not that I'm better, but that I'm feeling a bit better within a month, a month and a half. I can slowly try to build the vlogs up to what I, I really liked them last year. So hopefully I can slowly build them up to that. But yeah, I've just got to be up during the day more. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today. Um, Hope you're doing really well and happy and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.